Hello, everyone. Brace yourselves, because the palace walls are trembling, and at the center of this royal earthquake is none other than Camilla, the woman who has lurked in the shadows for far too long. Her carefully constructed facade of loyalty and grace is crumbling, and the truth, as ugly as it gets, is spilling out. This isn't just gossip anymore. This is a full-blown scandal that could dismantle the monarchy as we know it. Camilla's schemes, her manipulation, and her ruthless ambition may have finally caught up with her. Behind the doors of Buckingham Palace, whispers of betrayal are echoing louder than ever. Camilla, queen consort by name but schemer by nature, is now accused of playing a twisted game of power, one that has blindsided King Charles and could lead to the ultimate royal catastrophe, divorce. That's right, the woman who wormed her way into the heart of the future king, who many say contributed to the downfall of his first marriage, is now on the verge of destroying her own. Sources within the palace have described a level of turmoil that few expected. Behind the lavish banquets and formal smiles lies a simmering tension between Camilla and Charles one that is now boiling over into outright hostility. Rumors are swirling that Camilla's underhanded tactics, manipulation, deceit, and relentless power plays are the very things driving a wedge so deep between her and Charles that reconciliation seems impossible. Insiders are hinting that the couple is no longer even trying to hide the strain from those closest to them, and that divorce is not just a rumor, it's a looming reality. And let's be honest, Camilla has always thrived in the dark corners of royal life. She's the master manipulator, the one who operates in the shadows, subtly pulling the strings to get what she wants. But it appears that her web of intrigue may finally be unraveling. The whispers of her behind-the-scenes scheming are getting louder, and they're not pretty. Some allege that her influence over King Charles has grown toxic poisoning not only their relationship, but also his ability to lead. And let's not forget, this is a woman whose entire identity within the royal family was built on her ability to play the long game. But now, it seems that the game may be coming to an end. The question is, how long can the royal family keep up appearances? The monarchy has survived scandals before, but this one feels different. Divorce at this stage of Charles's reign could be catastrophic, not only for him personally, but for the monarchy as a whole. His reign is still in its infancy, and already the public is questioning whether he can live up to the legacy of his mother, Queen Elizabeth. And if Camilla's manipulations are indeed at the heart of the trouble, it raises even more uncomfortable questions about the monarchy's future under Charles's leadership. Public opinion has never been kind to Camilla, and this scandal will only fan the flames of discontent. The British people never fully embraced her, and now they may finally have the ammunition they've been waiting for. It's no secret that there are many who would love nothing more than to see her removed from the equation altogether. Her presence as Queen Consort was always a bitter pill to swallow for those who remained loyal to the memory of Princess Diana. To them, this latest scandal feels like long overdue retribution. Camilla, the woman who was once accused of destroying Charles's first marriage, now finds herself teetering on the edge of losing her own. But this isn't just about a marriage falling apart. It's about the future of the British monarchy. If Charles and Camilla's relationship implodes publicly, the fallout could be disastrous. The monarchy has always relied on the illusion of stability of strength in the face of adversity. But with this scandal threatening to explode, that illusion could be shattered. And with it, the public's already fragile trust in the institution. It doesn't help that Charles, despite his years of preparation for the throne, has always struggled to win over the hearts of the British people. If Camilla's influence is seen as a contributing factor to his downfall, it could very well mark the beginning of the end of his reign. And what of Camilla herself? She's always been a controversial figure, but this could be the moment that defines her legacy in the most unflattering terms possible. 
For years, she's been painted as the ultimate survivor, the woman who weathered every storm and came out on top. But now, the narrative is shifting. The public is no longer content with seeing her as just a passive figure standing beside Charles. They're starting to see her as the architect of her own downfall, the woman whose ambition and ruthlessness have finally caught up with her. This is more than just a personal crisis for Camilla. It's a public reckoning. The very qualities that helped her secure her place in the royal family are now the same ones that are driving it to the brink of disaster. And if she thought she could manipulate her way out of this one, she's gravely mistaken. The British public is watching closely, and they're not likely to be forgiving. The world is watching, and the stakes have never been higher. The question now is not whether Camilla can survive this latest scandal, but whether the monarchy itself can survive her presence. As the story continues to unfold, one thing is certain this is a turning point, not just for Camilla, but for the entire British royal family. The days of quiet manipulation and behind-the-scenes power plays are over. The truth is out, and there's no going back. Camilla, the queen consort, who once seemed so secure in her position, is now standing on the precipice of a royal disaster that could change the course of history. The wheels of the monarchy are turning, and not in Camilla's favor. At the very heart of the scandal engulfing her is a striking paradox. How could someone who fought so hard to secure a place in the royal family now be the catalyst for its destabilization? The answer lies in the nature of Camilla's influence, a toxic blend of manipulation and self-interest that has permeated every aspect of her role. While outwardly she may have portrayed herself as a loyal and supportive spouse to King Charles, the reality, according to insiders, paints a starkly different picture. It is this contrast between her public persona and private machinations that now threatens to implode not only her marriage, but also her entire legacy. To understand the gravity of the current situation, we must examine the very mechanisms by which Camilla has wielded her influence. From the beginning of her tenure as Queen Consort, she has been a master of subtlety. Rather than overtly seeking power or making direct moves, Camilla has always preferred a more insidious approach, one where her hand remains hidden while the effects of her actions ripple outward. This kind of behind-the-scenes maneuvering has been a hallmark of her time at Charles's side, allowing her to consolidate power without drawing attention to the extent of her control. But now, as the internal fractures within their relationship become increasingly apparent, Camilla's once invisible influence is under scrutiny like never before. One of the most damning aspects of this entire situation is the extent to which Camilla has been accused of undermining not only her husband's authority, but also his decision-making. Reports suggest that within the royal household, Camilla's sway over Charles has led to a series of questionable choices that have alienated key advisors and strained relationships with other members of the royal family. It's not just about personal disagreements. This is about the larger implications of her control and the consequences it has for the monarchy's ability to function effectively. Critics argue that Camilla's interference has created an atmosphere of division, with some senior members of the royal family growing increasingly frustrated by what they see as her undue influence. The most troubling element of this dynamic is how it has affected King Charles's ability to govern. In a position as delicate as his, one that requires diplomacy, wisdom, and a keen understanding of the public mood, being seen as weak or easily swayed by external forces is damaging. Yet that is exactly the perception that has begun to take root as Camilla's influence comes under the microscope. There are whispers among palace insiders that key decisions, including those relating to the monarchy's public image and its relationship with the government, have been influenced more by Camilla's personal agenda than by sound judgment. This revelation has sparked concern 
not just within the royal family, but also among political figures who view the stability of the monarchy as integral to the nation's constitutional framework. At the core of these concerns is a growing realization that Camilla's influence may have been corrosive from the start. Her role as Queen Consort was always supposed to be one of support, of standing beside Charles and bolstering his reign. Instead, her actions have increasingly called into question the very nature of that support. It's not just that she has failed to provide stability, it's that she may have actively contributed to the destabilization of both her marriage and the monarchy as a whole. The fact that these issues are now coming to light suggests that the situation may have reached a tipping point, one from which there may be no return. In examining Camilla's role within the royal apparatus, one cannot ignore the psychological toll that her influence has had on King Charles himself. There are rumors that the king has grown increasingly isolated, surrounded by a small inner circle dominated by Camilla's allies. This isolation has reportedly taken a toll on his mental well-being, with some insiders speculating that he has become more withdrawn and less decisive as a result. If true, this paints a troubling picture of a monarch whose ability to lead is being undermined from within, not by external threats or political rivals, but by the very person who is supposed to be his closest confidant. The psychological implications of this dynamic cannot be overstated. In any leadership role, the ability to make clear, independent decisions is paramount. Yet Camilla's influence, according to these reports, has created an environment in which Charles is increasingly reliant on her guidance to the detriment of his own judgment. This is not just a personal issue. It has profound implications for the monarchy's future. If the public begins to perceive King Charles as weak or easily manipulated, it will erode confidence in his ability to fulfill the duties of the crown. And once that confidence is lost, it is exceedingly difficult to restore. Another critical aspect of this unfolding drama is the impact it is having on the royal family's public image. In an era where public relations and media management are more important than ever, the monarchy can ill afford a scandal of this magnitude. Camilla's actions and the resulting speculation about the state of her marriage to Charles have already begun to dominate headlines, overshadowing other important royal events and initiatives. This has created a PR nightmare for the palace as they struggle to contain the fallout and present a united front to the public. The problem is that the more they try to downplay the situation, the more it seems to spiral out of control. The media is hungry for details, and every new piece of information only fuels the fire. Camilla's critics are seizing upon this moment, using it to amplify their long-standing grievances against her. They argue that she has always been an unpopular figure, one whose presence in the royal family has done more harm than good. And now, with the possibility of a divorce looming, these critics are sharpening their knives, eager to see her fall from grace. This brings us to one of the most significant aspects of the entire scandal, the possibility of a divorce and its wider implications for the monarchy. If King Charles and Camilla were to separate, it would be an unprecedented event in modern royal history. The monarchy thrives on the appearance of stability and continuity, and a public split between the king and queen would shatter that image. It would be a personal and political disaster, one that could have long-lasting repercussions not just for Charles's reign, but for the future of the institution itself. The fallout from a divorce would extend far beyond the immediate parties involved. It would send shockwaves through the royal family, affecting its standing both domestically and internationally. The monarchy, already grappling with questions of relevance in the 21st century, would be further undermined by such a high-profile personal failure. Critics of the monarchy, both within the UK and abroad, would seize upon the opportunity to question its continued existence. The idea of a monarch unable to maintain even his own marriage would be a potent 
symbol for those who believe the institution is outdated and out of touch with modern value. Moreover, the logistical and financial implications of a royal divorce would be immense. The legal proceedings alone would be a media circus, drawing attention away from the important work that the monarchy is supposed to be doing. Then there are the questions of financial settlements, property division, and titles, each of which would need to be carefully managed to avoid further controversy. Camilla's position as queen consort complicates matters even more, as her status within the royal family would need to be reassessed in the event of a split. Would she retain any official duties? Would she continue to be supported by the royal household? These are questions that, if a divorce were to happen, would need to be answered swiftly and decisively to prevent a further erosion of public trust. It's also worth considering the impact this scandal could have on the royal family's relationship with the media. For years, the monarchy has maintained a delicate balance with the British press, managing to control the narrative around its key figures while avoiding too much scrutiny. But with Camilla now at the centre of a media storm, that balance is in danger of collapsing. The tabloids, in particular, have a long history of antagonism towards her, dating back to her early relationship with Charles. Now, with rumours of divorce and allegations of manipulation circulating, the press has found fresh ammunition to use against her. Camilla's ability to weather this media onslaught will be a key factor in determining the future of her position within the royal family. She has never been a particularly popular figure, and her public image has always been somewhat tarnished by her past controversies. This latest scandal, however, threatens to push her beyond the point of no return. If the media continues to dig into her role in the current crisis, it's possible that even her staunchest defenders within the palace will find it difficult to shield her from the consequences. At the same time, the media's focus on Camilla has the potential to overshadow other members of the royal family, particularly those who are working to modernize the monarchy and ensure its survival in a rapidly changing world. Figures like Prince William and Kate Middleton have worked hard to cultivate a more approachable, relatable image for the royal family, one that resonates with a younger generation of Britons. But as long as the focus remains on the drama surrounding Camilla and Charles, their efforts risk being drowned out by the scandal. Camilla's downfall feels like the inevitable outcome of a long game of manipulation and power. Her rise to Queen Consort was never about love or duty. It was a calculated move. Watching her unravel is nothing short of poetic justice. For years, she crafted an image of loyalty and resilience. But now, the truth has emerged. Her ambition, her behind-the-scenes scheming, and her manipulation of Charles have led her to this moment of reckoning. There's something profoundly satisfying about seeing the cracks in Camilla's carefully crafted public persona start to show. For years, she's worn the mask of the dutiful consort standing beside Charles as though their love story was one for the ages. But let's not kid ourselves. This was never a fairy tale. Camilla's journey to the top wasn't about love or destiny. It was about strategic positioning. A game of thrones played with the cold calculation of someone who knew exactly what they wanted and was willing to step on anyone to get it. And here we are, watching as it all begins to crumble. Poetic, isn't it? Camilla's fall from grace was, in many ways, predictable. The same qualities that allowed her to secure a place beside King Charles, her cunning, her ability to manipulate those around her, and her skill in flying under the radar are now being laid bare for the world to see. And what's being revealed isn't pretty. It's the portrait of a woman whose ambition blinded her to the fact that power built on manipulation and deceit can only last so long. Eventually, the house of cards collapses, and it seems that moment has arrived. What's particularly galling about Camilla's current predicament is the sheer audacity of it all. Here is a woman 
who has benefited enormously from her position within the royal family, enjoying all the privileges that come with being queen consort. And yet, it seems that her hunger for influence has not only caused rifts within her marriage, but has also threatened the stability of the monarchy itself. The idea that someone in her position could wield such destructive power is, frankly, absurd. And yet, here we are, watching as the royal family scrambles to contain the fallout from what is shaping up to be one of the most significant scandals of Charles's reign. But perhaps the most infuriating aspect of this entire situation is the way Camilla seems to have operated behind the scenes, manipulating her way into Charles's good graces while alienating those around them. This isn't just a case of a marriage gone sour, it's the result of years of quiet, insidious influence, of subtle power plays that have eroded the very foundation of their relationship. And while Charles may have been blind to it for years, it seems that even he can no longer ignore the truth. The man, who was once so deeply infatuated with her, now finds himself trapped in a toxic dynamic that threatens not only his personal happiness, but his ability to lead. And let's talk about that for a moment. Camilla's influence over Charles has always been a point of contention among royal watchers. How much sway does she really have? How many of his decisions have been shaped by her behind-the-scenes maneuvering? These are questions that have been asked for years. But now, they take on new urgency. If the rumors are to be believed, Camilla's manipulations have gone far beyond the personal. They've impacted the very workings of the monarchy, and that is a truly terrifying thought. The idea that someone who was never meant to hold such power could be pulling the strings in such a crucial institution is nothing short of outrageous. The irony, of course, is that Camilla's downfall could very well be of her own making. The same qualities that helped her rise to the top, her ambition, her strategic mind, her ability to manipulate those around her, are now being turned against her. It's almost as if the universe has a way of balancing the scales, of ensuring that those who climb too high on the backs of others eventually fall, and fall she will. What's truly fascinating about this entire debacle is the way it lays bare the inner workings of the royal family. For years, the monarchy has operated on a foundation of secrecy, its members presenting a united front to the public while keeping their internal struggles hidden from view. But now, with this scandal threatening to explode, those carefully guarded walls are beginning to crumble. And as they do, we're getting a glimpse into the toxic dynamics that have been festering behind the scenes for years. Camilla, once the master manipulator, is now being exposed as the very source of the instability that threatens to tear the monarchy apart. It's hard to feel sympathy for her in this moment. After all, this is the woman who, according to many, played a key role in destroying one royal marriage. Now, it seems she may be on the verge of destroying another, her own. And while divorce is never something to be taken lightly, there's a certain poetic justice to the idea that Camilla, the other woman, may now be facing the very same fate she once inflicted on someone else. Call it karma. Call it cosmic retribution. But there's no denying the irony of it all. Camilla's influence, once seen as a necessary evil, is now being called into question. Was she ever truly the supportive spouse she claimed to be, or was her involvement in Charles's life always more about securing her own power? These are the kinds of questions that will haunt her legacy, no matter how this scandal ultimately plays out. And while some may argue that she deserves a second chance, it's hard to see how she could ever truly recover from the damage that has been done. The British public, ever the spectators in this royal drama, will no doubt continue to watch with bated breath as the scandal unfolds. And while Camilla may still have a few moves left to play, it's becoming increasingly clear that her time at the center of the royal family is coming to an end. The question now is not whether she will fall, 
but how far she will fall and how much damage she will cause on her way down. So, let's not shed any tears for Camilla. She knew the game she was playing, and she played it well until she didn't. Now, as the pieces fall into place, all we can do is sit back and watch as the final chapter of this royal saga unfolds. It's been a long time coming, and if nothing else, it serves as a reminder that even the most powerful can be brought low by their own hubris. Will the royal family manage to survive this latest scandal, or will it spell the end of an era? Stay tuned for updates, and as always, share your thoughts in the comments below. Your perspective is essential as we dissect this ongoing drama and its implications for the future of the monarchy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a moment of this unfolding royal intrigue.